3D printers have become a household phrase, and I expect within five years um, there'll be many more applications for 3D printers. I want to talk about some of the applications for medicine and surgery. To begin, there's two types of 3D printing uh, techniques. One is essentially uh, called extrusion, in which um, a material is pushed through a heated element and that uh, allows us to create um, objects and materials by uh, building up layer upon layer. The uh, fusion method of 3D printing uses a light or a laser to fuse a powdered material that's in a liquid bath. And as the um, material is raised and exposed to the light, then the object starts to take shape. The nice thing about 3D printing is that it's uh, in a way democratized the availability of um, manufacturing and it's allowed the consumer to create prototypes and actual, um, actual end products with uh, relative ease and um, low cost. Some of the medical applications for 3D printing would include uh, prototyping and creating instruments. These are uh, two instruments that I created um, through shapeways.com. There's a, a 3D printer that's been used for um, burns and can create skin on the surface of um, a body where skin is missing. 3D printers could be used for uh, in custom implants just as uh, we've um, designed here with this uh, custom chin implant. Uh, it can also be used to fill defects in bone, like this material that's used for uh, skull um, defect uh, replacement. 3D printers are also used for surgical templates or models, allowing a surgeon to look at an object or part of the body in a three-dimensional fashion, and this can help to plan in a surgical approach. I think one of the most interesting applications for 3D printing would uh, be creating a scaffolding for um, living cells to populate that uh, structure and that can be used for an implant uh, using live tissue to uh, improve a defect or improve aesthetically a part of the body. Um, this 3 doodler is a manual 3D printer and uh, this scaffolding here that we created um, could be uh, an example of how you populate uh, a framework with live cells. I'm Dr. Brett Cotless and I'm a cosmetic and oculofacial plastic surgeon.